recording. Alright. I am now crossing the street. If I get too ahead of you, I'm, I'm always going to come back to you. Okay. Alright. Motor vehicles. Okay. Ooh, dirt. Please stay alert and be courteous to other users. Follow these rules. Travel at reasonable speed, keep right except to pass. Reading the rules. Pass on left after giving an audible signal. Always look ahead and behind before passing. Stop all stop signs. Uh, keep pets on a short leash no longer than six feet. Wear appropriate protective gear. Uh, safety gear. Respect private property adjacent to the trail. Carry out all trash. No motorized vehicles hunting, loitering, littering, or alcohol beverages. Violators will be prosecuted. Here. No motorbikes, it looks like. No ski bikes. No fires, no motorbikes. Alright. Read all the rules. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit, too. All of them. What's going on, man? All of them, man. You gonna catch me, like, hitting on all the prison mates? <laughs> Good afternoon. State prison property, no trespassing. Fuck you, you prick ass bitches. All right, so this is where. Let my girls go, huh? Right. What the fuck? The one on the left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A whole building full of them. <laughs> right. So this is where David was. Yeah. So he would probably have to be past those signs, right? Yeah, absolutely. In order to be fucking in violation yeah. of anything. But carrying a sign right here, and then he gets served a no tread, that's bullshit. Bullshit. Police are fucking cunt bags, dude. NECC, baby. Copchases.com I will oh, and So there's... if he if he says don't uh, correlate with them I'm gonna tell him that I've been talking to the camera to documentary Now notice on, who's uh, behind you on a uh, notice no trespass orders. Yeah, there's a uh, prison uh... Fuck him. It's a her. <laughs> Fuck her <laughs> Yeah so basically, uh, this this is uh, where David was with with, with this with the sign, and uh, that's basically. Uh, how would, uh, are you? Actually, there's no sign saying that. We're press, and I'm doing a story, so you can move it along, there, man. Have a good day. Bye. Freedom of the press over Trump's you, okay, Miss. Freedom of speech and press. I'm on public property, so you can go fuck yourself. So keep it moving there, dear. Thank you. Press and speech always rules. So uh, this is basically what uh, David was running into. Uh, um, he was running into this problem where uh, they must have been coming up to the fence on him too. Um, and they are uh, puffing out their chest, apparently. So this is basically town and state property right here. Um, on on the on, on the walk. So this is basically it. So notice that they're uh, taking the girls and telling them to get out of the yard. You're taking them out of the yard, huh? So it's, because you can't do nothing to me, you got to do something to them. Pieces of shit. Let my girls go. 
Let my chickies go. Ah, see you later, tough there, lady. Goodbye, you bitch. So they retaliated instead of, because I invoke freedom of the press and freedom of speech because we're on town property. Um, and it runs by the prison, apparently. We're doing the story because of uh, David really being served with a no trespass order. And I would guarantee in about five minutes we're going to be approached by Gothstown PD. Well, let's keep walking along the trail and uh, we'll come back this way uh, when we're uh, done with the trail. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, there's no sign saying you can't go near the fence. There's no sign saying you can't talk. He wasn't anywhere near the fence. He was on the trail very clearly from the video. What about that right here? Th this is on the trail. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> We're on the trail. He was on the trail. But there's there's no sign on the fence saying don't talk to the prison mates. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, interesting. Um, I don't know what their rules are. I don't are. know. Did he did he talk to the prison? I guess he maybe did. But this looks um, like pro uh, private property. I'm not sure if this is prison property, but it doesn't say. I mean, uh, if they even use this property or not. But mm. this is a public walkway, and I'll fucking. You know, I'll, I'll, you know me, they're not gonna get a rise out of me either way. But I'm pretty sure the cops are gonna get called now. Pretty sure. And um, I'm glad you have an SD card because we could drop all this shit on my channel as soon as we get back to the house. We're definitely gonna get approached. From which direction? <laughs> they, they have cameras, they're probably letting them know. They're running! So I would say this road up here, they're probably gonna be like five or six of them showing up. I don't know where this goes. I'm gonna ride ahead and see. All right. I'll continue to walk on the trail. Yeah, I don't see no outlet here. It totally in, is enjoined with the prison property. Totally enjoined. They got a Hillsborough Sheriff over here. Like three of them. Yeah, here we go. We're being approached now. Hurry. Yeah, my phone's just too dead to go live, but we're gonna have to use yours. All right. So, um, if you uh, if you can pan out and look at the uh, the road all the way, where we came from, from the beginning of the road to the end of the road, this is uh, basically a public walk path. And uh, again, the cops aren't coming out of their vehicle. No fire is allowed. Use of this land is prohibited from dusk till dawn. That must be that road down there, right? Not the path. Uh, that's a good question. There definitely was nothing, there was no sign on the other end, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I help you? Do you need assistance? You don't need assistance? You're okay? Is he talking to me? I think so. Pretty good. You need assistance? You okay? What's that? Oh, you're a bike officer? You didn't come here because someone called you? You didn't come here because somebody called you? No. What's that? Not that I know of. But you you pretty you showed up pretty in a weird spot. 
So if I get a 91A and I check your logs, nobody's going to be, it's not going to show that someone called? Sure, someone's going to. What's that? Were you guys behind the prison? Yeah, we're on the public walkway. Yeah. yeah. yeah so you were called. Oh. So somebody did call. No, I ride the trails and I'm sure someone's going to call. That's what I'm waiting for. So and I ride the trails. Yeah, but if you're waiting for them to call, how would you know to be here all of a sudden? Because I'm going to catch you lying either way because that's what you guys do. I'm going to get a 91A okay, hold Monday. Hold on a second. Let me introduce myself. I'm Officer Chaplain. You are not being audio and video recorded. Yeah, well, you are with us. Hmm? You are with us. You yeah. Are, yeah. You guys are always reporting. You, who's you guys, though? Who are you guys? What do you mean by you guys? I hope you're not collectivizing me with free status. I don't even know who you're with. But what, what do you mean by you guys? You said you guys are always video recording. Who you friend with the video camera with you? Yeah, but what do you mean you guys? You're collectivizing me in a group. No, I'm not. No, are you sure? All right. All right, I'm just making What's your sure. Name? What's that? What's your first name? You can call me JP. JP. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's from uh, NECC, New England Cop and YouTube. Okay. I don't have any problems with you guys videotaping. Yeah, but why, why did you show up, though? Why are you here? Like, why did you just pull up for, like, no reason? You must have been called. Come on, be honest well, with me. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. All right. You hear radio traffic. There's possible people behind the prison. Yeah. I'm the bike officer. Look in the back. What do you say? Is it a bike rack or a bike? There's a bike. I see a bike rack, but no bike. I was informed, just hold off. <laughs> oh, I just, I literally just took the bike off. It's all right, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. No, so, uh, there's definitely a bike rack back there. Don't skin me like that. But the bike was gone. No, it is gone. There's nothing there. No, I'm <laughs> not, not meaning that way. <laughs> <laughs> all I need is have the bike place. Nope. So, I like we hear the call. So, I'm pulling in. So I come over. That's all. Yeah, the lady came up to the came up to the fence and said thinking. moving along and I ignored her and I said we don't have to. I'm doing a documentary freedom of press, freedom of speech, public walkway. You guys are on the trail? Yeah. I'm on the trail. Yeah, she's nothing you can do about it. She got pissy about no, it. There is and this is the reason it's more how do I describe this? Picture if you had a family member locked up in a prison. Yeah. Would you want their face on you? That's really the reason. Because a lot of these people that are in the prison, these girls, and I've worked with a lot of them. Yeah, no, but it's public record anyway. No, but it's still yeah. a lot of people. There's no juvenile issues here. They don't, no, nothing like that. These are all over 18. But they still, some of them, their family don't even know where they are. They don't turn around and tell their family. They've got issues going on in their lives that they want. Private. Well, well, it's, it, the, all their stuff is posted on on blotters and court records and put out in the newspaper and sentences Guys, are always like, in the newspaper. Like you would go dig it up, but the average person. Uh, well, there, it, it's out there. It's be, public record. Yeah. But but to institute privacy when it's a public record matter is just uh, cops don't even have a right to even talk about that that way. You know, because it's public record. Yeah, you oh, can't institute. You can institute the idea, but we could be there all day long. As long as we're not hurting, throwing things, threatening people, you know, causing a disturbance. You guys aren't causing any disturbance? Yeah. I mean, I'm loud when I'm on the camera anyway. You know, that's just, <laughs> that's just you're me. Not, I'm, I'm a whole different level from the free status, I've you know? I've been videotaped so many times. What, from free status? No, just the job I used to have, I worked for Marine Patrol. And it was... Oh, where about us? Uh, right here. This, this Marine one. Patrol? Yeah. What, they got a lake here? It's a huge one. Actually, if you go down this trail... All oh, the that's why this says no fires and shit? Th that's just town of Yeah. And, uh, this land here belongs to Hillsborough County. Yeah. So that's their land, so they don't want any fires on it. Oh, okay. This huge area down there for people to go. I mean, now, why... W like, I, I understand, you know that people have to have pissing contests, pop out their chests and all that shit, right? Why the hell did the Goffstown PD serve a no trespass order on David Ridley? That it, because he didn't do anything more than what I just did. Actually, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. When was this? Uh, last week. It was... Uh, we were two P Pennard's a sergeant, right? Pennard? Yeah, he's on the other team. Yeah. I mean, he's, I literally only see him going and coming. Well, they called, they called a no trespass order. Um, they wanted to serve him a no trespass because he, he was wearing a sign. Yeah, he was wearing a, you know how free states do the sign waves and shit. He was walking on no, nowhere near and not even interacting with the girls. Um, and just wearing a sign that says, let my girls go. I, I can't speak to that. Because and he never went on the property. It wasn't, I wasn't there. 
It just doesn't make any sense. I haven't even seen anything on it. Well, at least only one of you showed up. Yeah. Yeah, like five of you just showed up for him. Well, it's because you guys know I know my shit. Yeah, they, they, she got all pissy with me. That's fine. But like I yeah, said, the law's the law. The girls didn't expect some privacy back there. Then they, would, they wanted to talk to me. That's the issue. <laughs> <laughs> they, wanted to, they wanted to talk. They wanted to see what's going on. But it's yeah. one of those things. Now, why the heck, uh, how come the state prison didn't put up like a, uh, like a block shield or like a mesh? That I can tell you. Or, or a sign that says, please don't interact with inmates. It's like literally four feet from the walkway. <laughs> like, you know, serving no trespass orders on people that were on public property, man, is like, like borderline getting you guys into a, in front of a jury and losing. You know what I mean? That, because you're, you're that, taking away someone's freedom. If, if well, if, on, if I, I know you have nothing to do with that. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Anybody else is on my case. Yeah, it's just, I want to have a word with him. I wanted to talk to Mr. Sergeant. Uh, he needed to meet JP. Call, call, call the station. Yeah, he's going to be on Monday night. Yeah, I can't. I can't come Monday night. But Thursday, Friday, and Let me Saturday. Ask you a question. What? How much money do you make doing this shit? What's that? How much money do you make doing this? Shit? Well, it depends. Uh, uh, do you get a percentage of every commercial? No, uh, I mean, if you if you run a, you have to get more than a thousand uh, subscribers to even make AdSense money anyway. Oh, I didn't, I, that I didn't know. Yeah, I every that's day. a new restriction. I um, every hit that you guys got. No, no, not at all. And not every video has ads. Um, it's just sometimes they have ads and then you have mandatory ads. You know how you can skip some and then you, you have to. Ad, like for, let's say, it's not us that do the ads. It's YouTube that does the ads. I'm sitting there making a... And I stop, and all of a sudden I'm pummeling the guy. Yeah. And it's a hot video. Yeah. Like the the sleeping cop video that I just got from Winchester PD. <laughs> I didn't see. Um, so it's worth a look. Hot video is going to generate more hits. That's where you put the ads at. No, it's not. It's not the person that's doing the videos that do the ads. It's Google. It's Google and YouTube that do the ads. Also, oh, you don't they, have anything. No. We can choose if our channel wants ads or not. Um, if you want to select not having any ads or having ads and did you also have a creative license that you have to file an agreement for or a um, um, certain content that you want only yours. So if you have a million ads a million hits and you have a couple ads on it because it's a hot video, you can make some serious Well, I'll be honest with you, I don't do much in the winter when it's cold and I barely make the threshold and the threshold's a hundred dollars. So, um, I think last month I got like one twenty. You can tell him he's wasting his time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, he's not wasting his time. All this goes on, all this uh, because I do raw. I do raw video. Okay. None of it's cut, edited. Well, here's a suggestion. And in, I'm in fact, this, I'm gonna throw this. Right in out fact, there. I go to the court, and I when I file a complaint, I actually do a JP statement, sworn statement, saying that none of my stuff is edited. Uh, have you ever thought about a ride-along? They don't do them in Keene anymore. In Boston? No, I haven't. I'd love to do that. Turn around, send the email to the chief, express what you want to do. That's actually a good idea. A ride-along? The, the worst idea Yeah, sounds is good to me. No. That's the worst. I love having people ride with me. I love it. I love showing people yeah, but, the job. But the, the thing is, okay, this is why I'm against modern law enforcement just so you know where I'm coming from I'm different from a libertarian free state anarchist whatever okay I'm all about public I officials um, yeah yeah um, I'm all about the public's jurisdiction over public officials period um, the way that law enforcement is being trained is they're being trained combat oriented not community oriented anymore um, they're riding around in tier one ballistic vests and Kevlar helmets and you can put a SWAT team member next to a SEAL, tier one operator that served 17 years and they look exactly the same. Let and me, now they get, ask, hold, hold on, hold they on, get in this, this. I'm, I'm not finished with my sentence. Okay. They have the same training and they're sending groups of two, three guys from the department to get CQB training in Langley and, you know, going to like all the, all these urban roundup training sessions, you know, in Concord and all that stuff. And to be instituted in that on the premise of, of cops being unsafe is bullshit. Because I can tell you right now, 
police officers are not even in the top 10 of the most dangerous jobs in America. I actually work... Storefront. What's that? Storefront. No, the first is uh, fi fishermen or high-rated high fishermen and loggers. Yeah. There's let, one let and two. Let me ask you this about officers training. Let's say you're in a hostage situation and you're the hostage. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather have the top guy on the roof with the rifle? Would you have, rather have somebody like me that... I have trouble hitting that building. Yeah. Which one would you rather want on the roof with the scope? You'd want the good guy. Well, the top training. well, I can I can tell you under certain circumstances um, because I have extensive knowledge um, when it comes to combat shit, and I'll just leave that at that. Um, but do you have experience? I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say. Yeah, I have experience. All right, but I'm not gonna say much over the air. And I'm a former staff sergeant in the Rainbow. Oh, okay. So uh, I have the, just a little bit of knowledge. We, weaker, the weaker, the, the, the weaker version of the Navy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding Navy. with you. Right. I'm kidding <laughs> with you. I'm just messing with you. That stuff doesn't get me. Um, I, I like I like talking. The the like, the, I, the I idea. Tell I like my job. The like the the idea the idea is the 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 idea is the the amount of excess when it comes to combat orientedness okay you could be on top of a a, a roof with a, a sniper rifle a short range rifle whatever but why the hell does manchester need three 50 cal bmg sniper rifles with sniper training and down in benning why why did why did they accept a grant i can't talk well you. that's what i'm telling you what 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 the hell do they need a 50 round around for in the middle of manchester does is beyond me I'm not against SWAT teams going up on the roof in a hostage situation, which is like one out of a million. But I went to the walkthrough, you know, the, the three-day weekend thing at the academy that they have every year. I did that two years ago, and I can tell you, man, the amount of videos that they show police officers is uncanny on how many bad situations they are. So they're coming out there scared to death at every traffic stop, no matter who they are, when really that, that amount is minuscule. Yeah. You know how many cops died on the duty the past two yeah, years? There's a lot of that. I gotta run. I gotta go home. Okay. Got a brand new LG G5 just died on me. What? My phone. Oh man, I can't. It's taken me like five years to figure this thing out. No, it just took me one month for the button to stop working on me. I need to put them fixed and I had the plans to do tonight. But oh, which, what's your name again? Kevin. All right, Kevin. Well, Sarge, you have a good night. I, I wish I was Sarge. But I'm no, no, I'm talking about the Marines. Oh, so the staff Sarge, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. How far are you guys riding? What's that? How far are you riding? All the way to the gas station. If you go down past the gas station, there's, stay on the trail. Yeah. Go past the gas station. You're going to come up to the light. Yeah. Make sure you hit the button because they will run your butt over. Yeah. So don't hit the light. Yeah. Go across. You guys hungry? No, not really. We ate before we got here. Really? Well, I'm going to be here often, so. Plenty of food over there. At, at, at least until I see your sergeant. <laughs> yeah, well, you saw it. <laughs> Did you catch all that? Yep. Nice, dude. I wouldn't have been able to hear it if it wasn't for the wireless microphone. What the fuck? That was great. So, I didn't do anything different than... Actually, I did more than uh, David really did, and the guy just had a really good conversation. Um, number one, they probably know who I am, and they did all their checks and shit when we were there. Um, found out what the website was, everything. And I caught him in a lie at first, if you, did, if you noticed. So what did he lie about? He, he said, I said, did someone call you? He says, no. And then if you review the video, I totally caught him. I'm like, yeah, so if did. I file an... Because yeah. he didn't know I knew my shit at that point. Yeah. I'm like, dude, if I file a 91A Monday and find out there was a call, and then he finally admitted, yeah, someone did call. <laughs> he, he denied it like three times. Yeah. And then finally I caught him. <laughs> That's the difference between, you know, the Ridleys and me and some of the cop lock guys and me. Um, I'm, I'm not going to fucking, oh, I don't know what, what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I, I'm not even going to go in that defensive mode because I know I'm not doing nothing wrong. I don't need to say it. Well, I wrong, automatically tell them what they're doing wrong. What What's wrong and what's illegal are two different things. And even if you read the law, it doesn't necessarily mean you know the law well, because you have to base it on decisions that have been made. <laughs> well, if you see, like, like um, I don't know if David 
I, you heard the conversation me and David had in the van one night, but he said there's a big difference. There is a big difference between how I approach it, and I'm not putting myself on a pedestal at all because I don't advise anybody to do what I do. I just have such a tone because they're trained in perception so much. Um, they automatically put themselves on a defensive um, barrier um, and I make them feel like what they can and cannot do. They're, they're actually afraid of acting upon it um, a lot of times because I throw out so many fucking reality shit at them. They're like, holy fuck. You know, they get bombarded and I don't let them get a chance to recover from that and you know, it's just uh, how you take authority over the situation. When you're defensive, like like Ridley, when he gets approached in like all these, all these uh, town meetings, and he gets made to leave, he pleads. He's like, "I don't know what I'm doing wrong. What am I doing wrong, sir? Don't ask him those questions. You need to flip it around, and you need to tell him I have a right to be here. So go away." You know, you know the notice the difference. Um, when the girls were there, she didn't, you know, as soon as I took that authority tone, she did. She The, the uh, correctional officer ended up walking away. Um, and, of course, they called the cops, and he lied about it at first, and I caught him, which was it's great for video, but that's what cops do. Um, they, they know they can't incriminate me, so I ended up putting him on the defensive where he's, like, in a fence, like, oh, shit, he caught me. Now I'm the one that's in the wrong, so... That's great. It's great. It's really great. That's going to be an awesome d upload. Uh, but no trespass order file. That's awesome. How are you? Good, how are you? No trespass order was filed, which was good. That's what I was expecting them to do, but they didn't, which proves my point. So, David Ridley, if you're watching my video, Call me first. <laughs> Let me go with you next time. <laughs> he does have uh, balls. He does go out by himself. I know, and oh, uh, doesn't have anybody with him. So. I know it's scary. A lot uh, of times I feel bad. Idea. And he got arrested at the court that day, but he won that case. Um, but they dragged him into court. Um, I've been following him a while. The first time I met him was uh, when uh, Joe Biden came to Keene, Keene State College. And he was, uh, it's funny because I just got back from a paintball tournament. Um, so I was like in ca like, like camo and shit because I was playing paintball that morning. And he was standing on the, on the median on the top of Winchester Street in Maine. And a, and a bunch of uh, sheriffs asked him for his ID and shit. Even though he has like this press pass and he looks all, all official. And they didn't even come to me, and I have fucking combat boots <laughs> and fucking camo on. And I couldn't believe it. They just don't mess with me. And I just, uh, you know, even back then, and that was that, I, I mean, so, correct me if I'm wrong. That was, I don't know if Dave can correct me on the YouTube channel, but David really, um, I think that was 2014, if I'm not mistaken. And so, then I met him again at the Beer Cat Rally in Concord, and then he interviewed me on um, when, uh, the city went after, uh, it wasn't an interview, he was just asking me a couple questions. When the city um, sued uh, Robin Hood um, for the buffer zone, and they lost terribly throughout that whole case, but I actually uh, filed a motion to enjoin my name into the lawsuit um, because they were collectivizing Pete Air into uh, the free Keen crowd. I'm like, well, I talk on the radio too, and tell people where the uh, meter maids are. If they're accusing him, I should be adjoined because I want to be able to do my own cross examinations and shit, you know, on the stand. Um, but I didn't get a chance, it was denied, so. Um, but that was like 2014 ish. So, what did uh, Ridley uh, uh, get arrested for exactly? Do you remember it? And. Uh... Oh, uh, uh, in the Manchester thing? Yeah. Um, he went to a rally. Um, I think it was a rally, correct me if I'm wrong, um, don't quote me on it, but I believe, I believe it was a rally and um, at a courthouse or, or, oh no, no, I think it was a, I think it was a, a, uh, a hotel and uh, cops, cops told him that he couldn't leave, that he had to leave. Um, 
Yeah, cops told him he had to leave and he left extremely slowly. He was backing up with the camera like this, videotaping the two bully cops. Um, and they're like, we're arresting you blah, 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 if you don't move. And basically the whole premise of the case is he's got that on video plus the trial on video. You can watch them both. Um, and he ended up beating the charge. Was it a disorderly? Um, I think it was disorderly conduct. Was it disorderly conduct? Could have been, was it, could have been disobeying a police officer? Um, I think there's another uh, charge. Um, disobeying a lawful order. Okay. Yeah, that's what, I think that's what it was. Don't quote me on it because it's an old video. Um, yeah, he got arrested and the trial's on and his lawyer did an excellent job. Um, you know who his he, he uh, lawyer was? I, I'm not sure the name. Yeah. Um, you'll have to look it up on, uh, the Ridley Report on YouTube. Kind of scroll back to those cases, but... Yeah, he won that case. I'm not sure if he sued him or not. Um, I don't think he did. Um, but he did He did beat the charge anyway because uh, the judge agreed he was moving and there's no, there's no institute in the planet that says if you don't move fast enough that you're disobeying. He was moving to his car. And he wasn't disobeying. He was in an act of going to his car. They just, you know, he was going slower than they felt comfortable with, and they want to pop out their chest. And all this shit. Now, if I was there, I don't know how that would have went if they told me to leave. It is private property, which, which sucks. Um, and that's one of the things with public officials having these things in, like, these big buildings. Can you institute public's jurisdiction because those particular places like uh, the Marriott Hotel or whatever uh, are acting as an agent of the state. And when they're acting as an agent of the state and they're housing or facilitating public officials, can we institute the public's right to access? You know, I don't know. It's something that I, uh, I would highly look into if uh, you really wanted to tape what the hell's going on in there. Um, they're shoving doors down, blocking the doors, and all of a sudden they make a, a press guy leave. <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Can, can you classify that business as an, acting temporarily as an agent of the state because they're facilitating an, an act of public officials doing our business? Hmm. Um, can they make us leave? I don't know. I, I, think, I think the freedom of the press is being totally, there's a war against it. Yeah, they want to hide as much shit as they can. Um, and is that a way they're getting around it? Instead of having, at it, having it at a public school or having it at a police station, a big police station or a meeting room in the town hall. What was why it? Why are they uh, having it at a fucking hotel? What, what was it that they were holding exactly? I think, there, I think it was, I'm not sure if it was a rally for Democrats or... It was a bureaucratic thing, whatever it was. The, he was there for a bureau. We'll have to view the tape and view the video to see um, totally what it's about. But it was uh, something to do with um, the campaign. Okay. It was the, the campaign. Yeah, it would, it would think that the, the police shouldn't be able to order you on private property to leave unless there's been a complaint filed by the owner of the property. Well, yeah, that's one of the things. One of the ladies that was involved, I remember a female going off of memory telling him that he had to go. I'm not sure if she was a bank, uh, the manager of the place or the manager of the, the event. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure. What's up, man? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure all right. at all. Well, call it a day and uh, yeah. post this on YouTube shortly.